Hi, welcome to this episode of Game Creation. So we haven't got quite a short video today because I haven't got too much time. Um, but we're going to look at an issue we had on Monday's video. Uh, user Julio Cesar said that he's talked to Eve and um, he's the lead developer on Click Team, And the, there's a way around the issue we had. So we're going to try and fix an issue, uh, a little bug that is in Click Team and um, we'll see whether we can survive it. Um, so the issue I had is that um, when you create uh, an active um, and place it on the same line, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically recreate what I had, right? So we're going to uh, deactivate this line. And as I've always said, um, some of the features I'm going to do um, are not necessarily in your version, okay? So I've got the 2.5 plus developer version okay so we're going to create object at this is what we tried to do now i'm going to ignore the x coordinate y coordinate for now because i'm going to copy those from this bit here so edit x position copy and i'm going to uh, edit it because i want to put that x position in and then i'm going to do the y position as the y and then the height okay pretty standard stuff and then I'm going to delete the top two because we don't need to reposition it now when we did this it sadly made them all the same color okay which is not ideal so essentially all of this stuff was being run to all of them now uh, uh, according to the comment um, which seems to make sense this stuff is actually being done first and then this stuff which actually would make complete sense right so if I show you this, it's actually, li oh, actually, it's it's like as it is now. So we actually want to create it first, okay? So what should happen now is it should work, but it's still not working. It is always doing this line last, no matter where it is. Now, according um, to Eve. Um, that is because we're using the O width and O height. So we're going to test that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, remember how big these are. 60, is it? Yeah. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with 60. Okay. And then check it. And it's working perfectly now you might think well hang on that's not good we're, we're having to hard code these values well apparently um, what you can do is you can store these in a different variable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have I'm gonna use up one of my things here oh and I'm gonna call it um, tile width and then we're gonna have um, tile height And what I'm going to do is on the same line, I'm going to set the tile width and tile height to be the width and height of the tile. This is kind of a hack. Okay, well, what am I doing? Position, width. And then we're going to have to do position height. And some kid is screaming outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. This microphone is quite good at filtering out noise. Okay, and then what I can do is use those values here. Now, some of you are probably thinking I'm going to forget the fact that it's not in order. I am not. Um, what am I doing? I'm doing the algebra value of tile width, and then I'm going to do the algebra value of tile height. So the bug is is with this thing using a height or width, right? So we're going to set the height or width here first. So we're going to drag these to the top. We're going to set the height and width in a different object that doesn't have that issue. So when you do algebra values, they will behave themselves. And then we're going to use the algebra value, which is has no problem using an algebra value in here. So it will behave itself. It won't do this last anymore. It just seems that when you use O with the no height in here, it does it last. There's bugs with everything. <laughs> so sometimes it's it's a matter of learning the bugs. 
Right, interesting. So the fact that it's referenced the height or, uh, let's just check that. Yeah, so it seems to be carrying forward anyway. So let's see whether it is the height and width. So I'm gonna set this as 60. See whether that makes a difference. Yeah, still a problem. And then if I change the other one to 60, that's really interesting. Yeah, oh wow, it still has a problem. Why is that? That shouldn't still have a problem. Unless it's the fact it's been referenced on the same line, that's fascinating. Right, so if I get rid of that, if I if I set those on one line, and then set this on a different line. Does that now work? Yeah, it works fine. Ah, interesting. So I think you can set this. I think it's just whenever width or height is being referenced at all. Hmm, I wouldn't have thought that. Right, let's see. Multiple value and higher height. So you seem to need to do it on a separate line. As soon as width and height is being referenced, this completely mucks up the referencing there. Yeah. Okay. Like I really like this thing here. I think this is really powerful, but it's really strange that um, you can't reference the height or width. You'd think on this, especially when you're um, working with where things go, where they will go will depend on the width and the height of the object, right? So it would be something you do quite a lot. So hopefully they'll patch this and they will allow you to to use the width, the O width and the O height on the same line. But for now, this will work uh, if it's on different lines. But as soon as you try and make it on the same line, so it's like logically it's exactly the same thing, but programmatically, the way they've programmed this, it kind of breaks it. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that. Um, Click Team is absolutely um, incredible how little bugs Click Team has. So when one comes up, it's quite exciting in a way because it's been a while since since I found bugs in Click Team. Back in the old days of Click and Play, there were so many bugs and so many things you had to work around. It kind of reminds me of, um, uh, what is it, the Tears of the Kingdom game I'm playing now, um, where it's just astronomical how the heck all the mechanics work together on a game or on this uh, an application that is so complicated and lets users do anything they want, and yet there's really not many at all. Um, and this is not surprising because this is quite a relatively new feature, so you'd expect there to be some some issues here and there. Um, but I could not even imagine what it's like to program something because I think um, with websites that I do, it's it's like whack-a-mole. You, you fix something somewhere, but it breaks something else somewhere else. Um, so I just really wanted to spend a little bit of time today on addressing that issue because I think sometimes when you raise issues, uh, you need to also um, show the solutions. But I'll be back uh, tomorrow to focus on continuing with our bejeweled stroke uh, candy crush clone so i'll see you then thank you very much